Welcome back fellow adventurers to the Frog God Games YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about reasons why you should be playing Swords and Wizardry. First off, I want to say that if this video gets 30 likes, I will have on Matt Finch, who is the creator of Swords and Wizardry, to talk about the game itself and its origins and everything like that. 30 likes, that's all we got to do. So go ahead and hit that like button and we'll have on Matt Finch the show. All right, let's dive into the video. So reason number one why you should play Swords and Wizardry is while it is an old school retro clone, there is still new content being made of it to this day. Since it is a very new game system, there are still many companies putting out Swords and Wizardry content. For example, Frog God Games. If you go on the Kickstarters or on the website, there's often copies of the books that they create in Swords and Wizardry. You know, instead of just for like 5th edition or Pathfinder, the new school game systems. So while this is considered like an old school RPG, there's still tons of content being made for it to this day. Not to say there isn't new content being made for the old school RPG systems, you know, like 1st edition or 2nd edition, BX, things like that. It's just extremely accessible, the fact that Swords and Wizardry is so new, yet has such a strong old school feel to it. So if you are a gaming group that is looking to pick up an old school game system that is still being curated and, and created to this day, pick up Swords and Wizardry. Reason number two why you should be playing Swords and Wizardry is that it is a very simple game system, but on top of it, there is a system called Swords and Wizardry Lite, which is even simpler. <laughs> Swords and Wizardry Lite is that exactly. It's a light version of the game. It's less rules oriented. It pretty much gives you what you need to play the game. I really like using this for new players, uh, new players that play, uh, you know, tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons, because it's such a simple system for them to pick up and start playing with. You're pretty much just using your D20 and your D6s, so it's not confusing where the players are grabbing around a bunch of different dice having to worry about what their abilities do. It's very straightforward. They can just roll up a character in like five minutes and then we start adventuring. It holds our attention span better because they're not so confused on what is going on and is in the rules aspect of it is you're more focused on the adventuring aspect of, of tabletop games, which obviously should be the focus. If you would like to download Swords and Wizardry Light, it is uh, for free on Tankar's Tavern. All you have to do is follow the link in the description and you can download a copy of that. Point 2.5 is that the Swords and Wizardry PDF is absolutely free on the Frog God Games website. Or if you pick it up on Drive-Thru RPG, you can pay what you want. However, if you want the physical copy book, that will cost you some money, but you can pick that up on the Frog God Games website. As always, the links will be down in the description below. Number three, why you should be playing Swords and Wizardry is that if you go to conventions like Gamehole Con, Gary Con, North Texas RPG Con, these conventions that are originally stated to be, you know, old school gaming, Swords of Wizardry is being played at these conventions. Specifically, the really cool thing I want to point out is Matt Finch, the creator, and Bill Webb, who is head frog of Frog God Games, run Swords and Wizardry games at these conventions. But it's just not your normal convention game where you, you have a pre-generated character and then you just go gonzo and if you die, you die and you grab another sheet or you just bring that character back to life. The way that they run these games is more like, you know, RPGA or D&D Adventures League where your character is everlasting. So if you roll up a character at the table with Matt Finch and you play at North Texas RPG Con, which is a convention in June in Texas, and your character survives that session, and later in the year going to Gamehole Con in November in Madison, Wisconsin, you can bring that character and use it in Matt Finch's game. Now, I do want to point out there's usually a low-level section and a high-level section. So if you're going to sign up for these games at the convention, make sure that you're paying attention to what kind of character you have. If you don't specifically have a character that is that level, that's okay. Um, I know I personally have played a low-level character in the high-level games and survived. That was a little bit surprising because it was a Bill Webb game. And, uh, you know, you really have to play intelligently and, and play uh, very smartly to be able to get out of Bill's games. And you can use the character, you know, at one convention in Bill's game and the next in Matt's. It, you know, these, these are everlasting characters, you know, uh, that you can bring to these conventions to play with. So that's a really cool thing if you're if you're a convention goer or looking to go to conventions. Uh, this is a perfect game system to pick up in order to play at all these cons with the same characters. I know a lot of people like playing with, uh, you know, gonzo convention characters because you can just go nuts and there's really no consequences. But you can do the same thing in these games and if your character happens to survive, they get a second chance or a second shot. You get to keep all your experience, all your gold, all your magic items, anything like that. It's usually like rolled off at the table or, you know, decided if, if it's, a, you know, like a plus one sword, obviously the mage isn't going to be taking it. So there is, you know, standards for that. But that's all decided amongst the players, which is really cool. Number four, why you should pick up Swords and Wizardry is it's just a great game system. A lot of new school players that have played old school games before, uh, often struggle with getting new school players into old school RPG systems, mainly because it's just foreign to them. They think, why would I buy this? This isn't the, the trend. This isn't the main game system being played right now. But because of the points I made earlier, like there's still content being made for it, worlds being expanded, adventures being written, it's much easier to entice people into buying a evolving game system. On top of that, it's just really well done. I know I'm a little biased, <laughs> but uh, I, I know Matt personally, and he really knocked it out of the park with this one. The really cool part about this book here and why I think the game system is so great is anything you need to play the game, 
It's in here. You can create a character in here. There's notes for the referee or the GM. There's monster stats as well for you to be able to create encounters. There's tips for you for designing your own game and campaigns. Everything that you need is inside of this book as opposed to three separate core books. Now, of course, there are separate guidebooks uh, that you can pick up as well from Frog Dad Games, like expanded monster manuals so you can, you know, have more monsters to put inside of your games. You know, like I talked about the evolution of the game. Um, obviously, there's still content being made for it, so that way you can expand it at your home game. Jumping into the fifth and final point of this video, and I know it's a little bit of a long one, so bear with me through this. There's ascending and descending armor class put together for your character. That's it. We solved the world war. Peace. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and click the notifications bell so you never miss a video. Like I said, like this video because once we hit 30 likes, I will be uh, releasing a video with Matt Finch talking about swords and wizardry. Now I know this video wasn't specifically like about the rules of Swords and Wizardry. I of course could make one of those videos if you would like me to. I just wanted to give everyone reasons why they should pick up this game as opposed to maybe other game systems that you could try out. There is a lot of amazing game systems and we all know that everyone has its pros and cons, but I do believe Swords and Wizardry is perfect for the new school and old school gamers. If you are a player of Swords and Wizardry and you think I missed a reason why you should be playing Swords and Wizardry, drop that down in the comment section down below. Or if you're just a player and you appreciate Swords and Wizardry, just give us a hey in the comment section. We love to talk with our community about the game. And uh, that wraps it up for me. Everyone keep those rolls and spirits high, and I will see you next time.